Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do an Eclipse energy reading for you. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is just a message from my guides for you. This is something, you know, it's just something a little extra from the 15th to the 31st of July. This may or may not resonate. It's just it has to do with the Eclipse, what the Eclipse might do for you. Okay, so let's see what comes up. This is for Cancer. Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do you got for Cancer? Ooh, all tied up, stuck, trapped. You may be in a situation that you know, you can break free from, but you're not speaking up. You're not doing anything about it. Stuck, trapped, tied up. You have a choice. This is a five, okay? You have a choice. You can make a change. But you will have to step outside of your comfort zone. You may have to speak up. You may have to... You know, ask for help. I don't know. Either way, you're going to have to open your mouth. You're going to have to say something. So you're stuck. You're stuck. One card for cancer. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. This tells me that your soulmate probably doesn't fit the description that you always dreamed of. Your real soulmate. Your true soulmate. Okay. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate differs from what you are used to. You may be stuck in something that looks good. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? But it isn't, it isn't, it probably isn't very comfortable there. You may be, you may be stuck in a space of loneliness because you're looking for a certain type. You gotta be, you gotta be open-minded. Your soulmate differs from what you are used to. Your true soulmate. You, maybe you've met this soulmate and you're stuck. You can't move forward with them because they don't fit the description. Wild. 15. Wild. This soulmate probably is wild and you probably, you know, it's probably everything you ever wished for except for the exterior. It feels like the exterior is not what you're used to. We're going to read that. This is a wild, untamed spirit inside of you, desperate to be unleashed. Free it, and you are stuck. And claim the gifts of energy, power, passion, and creativity it offers you. Through suppressing your wild, succulent, outrageous, and untamed self, you dull your senses and crush your creativity. You shrink, lose your energy, and become depressed. Your relationships suffer and your rage grows. You become ashamed, hostile, cold, boring, over-serious, and scared. You stop taking chances and live in mediocrity, city, mediocrity, whatever, constantly trying to protect yourself. The truth is that no one can judge you, punish you, or hurt you as much as you can. Give in to your wildness and stop living a sham. This part of you is sensual, provocative, truthful, courageous, bold, 
passionate and alive. Set it free. Go after what you are passionate about. Some of you are stuck in a situation that you are not passionate about. But it looks good. It's a sham. <clears throat> Some of you are needing to put yourself out there. Let go of that fear. Cancer. Things are about to get wild by the looks of things. I mean, they think they probably are. Ah, oh, yeah. A ten of Wands, you're overwhelmed. Stress. There's something weighing very, very heavily on you. Exhausted extremely exhausted you may feel isolated your, your health may be declining there's frustrations here it's like you're doing too much you're carrying on too much you're carrying something that you shouldn't be carrying you may be investing in something that that has no growth it's over it's time to relocate it's time to do something different there's no growth here it's unrealistic it's dissatisfying you need to remove this obstacle you need to stop lying to yourself. This is an obstacle that is in the way. The Eight of Swords reversed. You, you know, you need to let go of that, empty, em, that emptiness. And you're holding on to something that is making you feel empty inside. It's not serving you. And you've got this wild spirit that's dying to come out. Eight of Cups reversed. Oh my goodness gracious. This is wanting to go back to something. Thinking about going back. Thinking about wish fulfillment. Thinking about, maybe you're thinking about something that, you know. Well, you're thinking about, you're, you're thinking something is heavily on your mind. Something is heavily on your mind that you are thinking about that has caused you a lot of emotional disappointment I think that you are really close to making a decision this is, is seven of cups reversed is making a clear decision a clear choice becoming clear of the choice you guys are very emotional at this time things are very intense it, it is it is a very intense time for you I feel like you're literally unavailable to whoever it is that you're dealing with because your heart wants something else. I feel like you have a choice here. You have a choice. You probably have to leave something behind. You may have left somebody behind that you have regrets over leaving behind. Um... There's insecurities here. I think you're beginning to realize that you have a bigger, better opportunity. You're beginning to realize that. You're beginning to see the light. You're beginning to come out of the darkness. You're wanting to come out of this darkness. But there's a lot of intense emotions, emotional overload. Because there's an obstacle in the way that is keeping you stuck. It could be your own thinking. It could be needing, wanting to prove to other people. You know... You may, you know, you may want to be proving something to society or to your friends. I think there's been a loss here that has made you very discontent, and and you and perhaps you would like that opportunity. Maybe you missed an opportunity and you want that opportunity back. Um, you feel you may feel like you missed an opportunity for wish fulfillment, and you can't let it go. You can't get it off of your mind. You've evolved, you've changed, you've been through a huge transformation. You're still changing. You're still healing from something. You're not the same person that you used to be. You, there could be some addictions that are in the way that are hindering your judgment. You may have overindulged, you may have... 
you know, tried to escape reality, maybe with drugs or alcohol, but you, it's like you've come to a point where now you're stuck, now you're trapped. You are. You're trapped. You're trapped in a situation that you don't want to be in. And it feels like you're looking for something that is more reciprocated, that will reciprocate a little bit more. I feel as though you have a lot to give and you're looking for somebody that will give to you. And I think that right now you're in a situation, with the Seven of Pentacles, you're probably in a situation that is unrealistic. It's very dissatisfying and you were hoping for more. I think you probably were. You're thinking about the past a lot, the Six of Cups here. There's there's a past connection here that is weighing very heavily on your mind. Um, there's a lot of memories that are bringing up your emotions. They're affecting your emotions. Um, you're really, really thinking about the past. You're thinking about, you know, you're going through a period of reevaluation right now. You're trying to figure out what is the best path to take. I feel as though... You're not the same person that you used to be. You've been through a huge transformation. Um, and I think that you see an opportunity for love that perhaps you left behind. That you, you know, threw away or whatever. You know, you walked away from and you probably would like to go back and heal it. But you could be dealing with somebody who, you know, this woman is, or this person is a force. She really is a force. For she, she, uh, she takes no prisoners, right? I mean, she cuts right to the chase and she is, uh, you know, she might rip your head off. <laughs> so I hate to say that, but I mean... You know, you may, you may be, you may be wanting to go back to this person. Could be Gemini, could be Libra, could be an Aquarius. I'm not sure who it is, but this is a woman who is bitter. This woman is, she is powerful and she is scary. So I think that um, you probably want to heal with this person. You probably want to come together with this person, but she is, uh, she's very powerful. She's very intelligent. She's she's uh you know she's not somebody to mess with so i feel like you you know you probably are really thinking about this person who you would probably like to heal the connection but and there is an opportunity to heal this connection there's an opportunity during this time to heal this connection you know But you're going to have to uh, be focused. You're going to have to be real. You know, you're going to have to step into reality here. It, it, it feels like we have somebody here that this is a dead end. This is the page of pentacles reversed, a dead end. This is... Uh, Somebody that lacks integrity. Somebody that doesn't have the moral backbone to do the right thing. You're going to have to find your moral backbone to basically apologize or come forward with something solid, something stable, something honest, something truthful. You know, this is an opportunity for wish fulfillment. I feel like you guys are, are really thinking about... Somebody from your past that made you really happy. Nine of Cups. And I think that you're really, really emotional over this loss. And I feel like there's a deep connection here in which you probably, you know, have to apologize. You'll have to, you know, prove that you changed to this person. You are definitely dealing with a person who, you are know, going to have to deal with conflict. You are going to have to deal with conflict. You're going to have to be honest. I feel like you, you, you're probably observing and watching and you may be upset about what you're seeing. I think this, this person has probably decided to not invest 
this person, you know, she, she basically has your head on a silver platter. I mean, and maybe that's what you're afraid of, you know. She's given up. This person has given up. She's she's given up her feelings. And I think that's why you are so emotional. This person has made herself or himself, I think it's a her, unavailable. Emotionally unavailable. And I think we have another person here who is really sad because they just, they don't want to apologize. They don't have the backbone. They are fearful. I think it's a very emotional time for you cancer because there's some there's there's some sort of situation that has you stuck and you are going to need to find your moral backbone to take charge of the situation and deal with this individual who who is very bitter with you. There's probably going to be an opportunity to communicate with this person. You may not be prepared for it. You you, you know you probably your expectation you're probably expecting this person to hurt you you know you're probably expecting this person to cut you off instantly but will this person cut you off will this person cut you off instantly well page of wands or prince of wands reversed you know, she may not have anything good to say right away. She may not. She may not have anything good to say. She probably doesn't have anything good to say. Um, because she was ghosted. She was left behind. She or he was left behind. But you have the power. You have, if you act with integrity, if you come forth with something solid, something stable, if you take the lead, if, 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 you know you have the you have this opportunity right now to take the lead you have this opportunity to take back the power you have the opportunity to dominate this situation to take back control if you can come forth with nobility you know if you can do the right thing um if you are the cancer woman watching this you may have a very dominant protective man coming into your life this is a very protective energy this is very dominant this is somebody who is ready to settle down this person is very wise stable You're going to have to get into warrior mode. You're going to have to get into warrior mode. You're going to have to make a decision that you're ready to settle down, that you're ready to commit, that you're, you know, ready for stability. So Cancer, I really feel as though You do have an opportunity for wish fulfillment here. But you are going to have to face somebody who has been really, really hurt. And this person, it's like you're looking at this person, you're watching this person. And this person... is going to want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So be prepared. Be prepared. If you're not prepared, get prepared. Um, if you are the Cancer woman watching this, I feel like you have a masculine coming in that you may not even 
you know, this masculine may now be ready. The masculine is getting ready, getting ready to step forward. But I think that he is really scared of this feminine. <laughs> I do. I think he didn't act with integrity. So Cancer, I feel as though it's a very emotional time in which you are going to need to face your fears. You're going to need to deal with conflict. There's conflict here. Because deep down inside, you have these desires to live again. You have these desires to go after what you are passionate about. And I think that you are in a situation now that you are less than passionate about. And this eclipse is going to help you to find your strength. To deal with whatever this conflict is that you need to deal with. So that you can drop these burdens. You can drop this heavy weight. At least if you can find closure. At least if you get the closure that you need. There's an obstacle that is in the way of wish fulfillment, of, of love. And that obstacle needs to be removed so that you can be happy. And this eclipse is going to give you the opportunity to deal with the challenge. So Cancer, that's what I have. You are at this crossroads and you can either choose to stay stuck in this predicament that doesn't make you happy. Or you can choose to face your fears. Take a noble approach. And cross that bridge. Good luck. <laughs>